All right, I thought I'd do in this episode, I'll just work through some of the things that we've been doing for the past week or so. So let's see which clip we've got here. Nine seconds, this is 26 seconds. We'll use this one first. It'll just be a bit quicker to render. So here we have, it looks like it's a, oh yeah, this is the latest version. You can do collaboration with Frame.io. Um, okay, so, So yeah, so we could do, try something with this particular thing. I think I might want to make it a little bit uh, smaller. So I could just do, uh, let's change the scale of it here. Can we just, can we just place it? I guess we just place it in the middle. I guess that's one way to do it. So how would that move, I wonder? Kind of how you want it. You see, for instance, if I put another hold keyframe in here, uh, we want that to be a hold. There we are. We could put another keyframe and then that should We don't want that to be that. I think we can control and so that should continue the expansion, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Do we want to put some the wiggle stuff on it? I guess so, right? Uh, not this thing. Did we go there? Yeah, unfortunately, I just updated. So. Uh, let's put it at the top. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't like it like this. Uh, effect and presets goes over here as well. Um, but yeah, let's do the wiggle on the scale. Is there anything else I want to do to it? Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. So what we could do, for instance, is we could do the um, could do the wiggle on this section, right? This might be an interesting way to do it. Can you do it? Yeah, okay. And I prefer doing it all all the same. And I'll just do maybe a high frequency. Just do it a little bit more than usual. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, the magnitude is too high there. Let's make, actually, let's make the magnitude. I find like magnitude really low is kind of interesting. Cause I, don't, I don't like it to be too jerky, right? Let's try this. Um, That's not bad. Uh. Okay, should we try some more effects? Uh, you know, I was the whole point of this session to try a bunch of different things. Um, so let's uh, let's try a different. I think that's probably enough for that one. Uh, I, I want to essentially use like some of the stuff that I've been messing around with. Uh, let's try maybe putting a different effect on it, like lens flare. Uh, bump up that, not that high. Yeah, maybe I'll just do something very simple with this guy. Um, it's moving to the right. So doesn't it make sense for the lens flare to move to the left? 
I think so, right? So the flare brightness here is like 10. And then by the end, it's like 300. Is that too much? Uh, 200. And then we'll do uh, maybe wiggler on it. Uh, couldn't I do the exponential uh, keyframe on it? Is that in here? That's kind of cool, right? Um, but didn't I want to move it, move it to the side a little bit? Um, probably, right? It's staying in the same place. But this, but by the end, I want it to be somewhere completely different. Then, actually, I don't know. Speed graph is already. I wonder if I easy easy it. Just curious, right? I feel like lens flare you can do a lot of interesting stuff with. But anyway, the point is, right, um, there's just two examples, right, of ways that we could alter this clip. And the whole point of this video is actually to show you, we've got, so we've got, we've got, um, we want to, say we wanted to replace this footage in its entirety with the other footage. Okay, so what we can do is to replace the footage is if I just alt and drag this one here, Take a look, see what's happened. You'll see. Here's our other footage, right? And in both comps, we should. Have all the effects there. So that's a way to not just replace it in a layer, but to actually replace the footage in its entirety across all your different compositions. So that's about all for now. So thanks for watching.